Hey, everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Live. We are so excited that you are joining us tonight. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Abby Taylor, and I'm one of the amazing, beautiful Emerald Ambassadors that will be sharing with you guys tonight. Um, we're really excited to be sharing our Mexico experience with you guys. Um, you probably saw our trip unfold through social media, and I saw a lot of you guys Facebook stalking us. Don't worry if I was there too and you weren't, if I was there, I would be stalking you guys too. But um, so if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just going to do a quick recap. Um, we just returned yesterday from a five night glorious stay at a five star, incredible, incredible incredible resort you guys in Cancun. It was just amazing. Um, this is an earned trip that you get once you hit the Emerald rank. Um, and it's in addition to having access to Alexis and a six figure income. So it's just been absolutely amazing. So this was actually my first Emerald trip. And the best way for me to describe it is that I literally felt like I was in a dream. And I still haven't come fully to terms with all that I was able to experience while in Mexico. Guys, I felt like royalty and all the workers there, uh, they treated us so well. Um, they were so kind, so hospitable, and literally went out of their way to make us happy. Um, they were so warm and so joyful, and I found myself smiling more. It was really hard to leave that positive environment yesterday. It was also really hard for me to leave that beautiful ocean and the palm trees because I just felt so much peace and serenity there. And again, I felt like I was in a movie scene or something, but you guys, it was real. Guys, I'm real. And my story to Emerald was real. It was not easy, but it was absolutely worth it. Every setback, twist, turn, all worth it. That trip in Mexico, you guys, it was like a trip of a lifetime, something I've never experienced. And to think that I almost didn't get to experience it is really sad. You guys, you see, I almost let fear win uh, many times. First was a flight. You guys know me by now. You know that I don't like flying. Um, and it's really only because of these Plexus trips that I have started to face and overcome my fear of flying. Um, my first flight was almost 10 years ago and it was horrible. We'll just leave it at that. And um, ever since then, I vowed I would never get on a plane again. Well, a few years ago, I can still hear Christina's words ringing in my ears. We were talking about the Vegas convention and she said, if you're serious about your business, you will be there. So I instantly went to Google and I searched how far it would be to drive to Vegas. 24 hours. I was like, mm, probably a little bit too long. So I decided I had to fly. And that is really what kicked off this um, journey of learning to overcome my fear of flying. And um, you guys, what I've learned is that beauty comes on the other side of fear. If I had decided to stay in my comfort zone, I would have never been able to go to Mexico and experience all the amazing things that I did there. Um, Plexus has really unlocked traveling for me, and it's one of my, my most treasured gifts now. A few days um, before the trip, um, the fear of the what if wrapped me up so tight, maybe you've been there, um, that I was literally bawling on the phone to Christina because I could not sort through my emotions. And guys, truth was just so muddled for me. And as she listened and then gave me some perspective and reassurance, I learned that what I was feeling was actually very normal. There's going to be risks when we're about to experience um, something special or when we're going for a really huge goal um, or even when we're about to run after that big dream. But again, you guys, it is worth it to experience the beauty on the other side of it. There's going to be um, times where you have to get out of your comfort zone. For me, it's pretty much on a daily basis now. Like getting on this call, I'm nervous tonight, but I know that I need to do it um, because I'm going to grow through it and become a better leader through it. And I'm going to be able to impact you guys through sharing my story. So I wanna ask you guys, what fear is holding you back right now? What is that thing you keep putting off in your business? 
I guarantee that I have been there before. And what makes me different is that I decided to do this hard and scary thing, uh, no matter how awkward it was or weird, um, not just once, right? It's not something you're going to do once and I'm perfect, perfect at it now. Uh, we'll never be perfect at it, by the way. You have to keep doing it on a daily, weekly basis. You got to choose to be uncomfortable. And, and in the end, you guys, you will find that it is worth it. Oh, and if you guys ever have a chance to go zip lining, just do it. Say yes and enjoy the thrill. And don't take my advice on it, though. You'll have to connect with April when she gets back from her trip. So next, we're going to hear from the fun-loving Miss Emily. Hey, y'all. Oh, my word. Okay, so we got to Mexico last Tuesday morning about 10 o'clock, and I have been smiling like this ever since, like ever since, except for when I had tears all in my eyes or rolling down my face because the emotions were just overwhelming. Um, and a lot of times, even through the tears, I was still smiling because they were tears of joy and gratitude and six years of dreams and hard work and laughter and goals and tears and determination and watching and helping other people reach their goals and grit. It was six years of all those things. It was like they just came to life, like you planted a little flower and all of a sudden there's your flower and it's real and it's beautiful and it's so much more than you could have ever even imagined it being. And I have a really, really good imagination. Like when I dream and when I envision things, they're big and they're fancy and they're over the top. And this was so much more than I ever could have imagined. So I watched my first Hawaii trip. This trip, Emerald Extravaganza, has historically been in Hawaii every year, right? Well, you know, the way the world is right now, we didn't get to go to Hawaii this year. So Plexus does what Plexus does. They pivoted. They put us up in Mexico in the most gorgeous resort, like Abby said. So I watched that first trip in 2015. I had just joined that April and I saw that trip and I said, I will be there next year. Next year. That was 2015. So next year would have been 2016. I wasn't there in 2016 or 2017 or 2018 or 2019. Nobody was there in 2020. But guess where I was this year? I was in Mexico. And I just want to tell y'all every moment, every moment, the good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly, it was 100% worth it. 100% worth it. So I had this moment the last night, we had parties every night, y'all. So if you are like me and you have this blue personality and you want to do all the fun things and adventure and parties and all things, okay, this is your trip. But also if that's not you and you'd rather just sit back and chill and not be, you know, all up in the business, that's okay too. We have plenty of people there just like that. It's for everybody, but I'm that person. And so on the last night, we had this gloriously beautiful white party. So everybody's decked out all in white, all of the linens and chairs and decorations, everything's in white. And it was so beautiful. And we were out on the dance floor, which if there's a dance floor, that's where you will find me. So if you're looking, just go there. Um, I just had this moment where it hit me that I was there. And I'm going to try to talk to y'all about this without crying. But I've had these dreams for six years to be on this trip. 
not just for the trip, but because of what it means, because it means you're a jewel with Plexus. It means you are a leader. It means you are not just changing things for yourself and your family, but it means you've impacted lots of other families along the way. And you've helped people reach their goals and make their lives better. And it means you're there. You're with the top of the top of the top that our company has to offer, right? And so I had this moment on the dance floor, which was the weirdest place because we were like totally, you know, going at it. And it hit me that I was there and I almost had to leave the dance floor because I almost started crying right there in the middle of probably shake it off or baby got back. Who knows what we were dancing to, but I had this moment that I was there and I did it. And me and Michelle said multiple times to each other, like, we did it. We did it. And y'all, I'm just going to tell you, this is not an easy thing to do. It's not easy. It's a simple business that we have. We talk to people about Plexus. You know, we help them make their lives better, but it's not always hard and things don't go the way that we plan all the time. But I'm here to tell you without a doubt, it is 100% worth it. So this is not entirely what I had written down that I was going to talk about, but um, I just want y'all to know that it is so worth it. And when I was there in that moment on the dance floor and all week long, I kept seeing all of these jewels, jewels that I had looked up to and followed for years, for years. When I started, I started following Sarah Marble and Sonia Dudley and Celeste Gwynn and Andrea Mitchell and Julia Carty. I followed these women for years for years. And they didn't know me from anybody, but I was watching them. I watched their pictures of these trips and they inspired me. They inspired me to get myself there, like whatever it took, get there. And when I was there, it just hit me that there are people out there right now that are watching my stories and they're watching my posts and they're saying, Oh my God, that girl just did that. I want to go and be there too. I want to be there because she's there. And so it hit me real hard that all these people that I had looked up to and watched and followed, I was now becoming that person for other people that I'll never even know about because some of them do. Some of them know that now, but some of them don't. And so what I want to tell you is a couple of things. Do not quit, period, ever. Once you make that decision that you're going to do this, do it and don't quit. Number two, don't quit because you don't know who's watching you. You don't know who's inspi being inspired by you. And it doesn't matter if you were in Hawaii, if you were in Mexico this year, if you were not, no matter where you're at in your journey, if you're moving forward and you're making progress, that is inspiring to other people. So keep, keep going. And I promise you're going to want to be in Hawaii next year because that's where we're going and it's going to be amazing. But I love y'all. I could talk all night, but I'm not going to. So Mexico is amazing. You need to get there. Thank you, Emily. I loved seeing you on that trip because you were just like bubbling over with joy every day. I loved watching you. <laughs> you earned it, girl. All right. Next, we're going to hear from the lovely Miss Kayleen. Thank you. Well, okay. I'm going to get right to it so that we don't take up too much time. But um, Mexico was astounding. So it was a dream, just like Emily said, a dream that's just like, is this real life? Is this really something that I am experiencing right now? And um, I am someone who, when I set my mind to something, I just do it. And I'm a worker. And a lot of times I don't stop to notice all the other things. And Plexus made us stop 
to notice all the other things, right? And so um, like making us have a vacation and Brittany and Christina told us, don't go there and think that you're going to work. Like you are going to enjoy this. Um, but one thing that really surprised me, well, first of all, I mean, they just go all out. The, if you all followed the stories and the posts, I mean, it's stunning. It was gorgeous um, down to the finest detail. Um, and that just goes to show the quality that company that Plexus is. And, um, you know, so noticing those fine details was just like, oh my goodness, they had room drops with gifts on your bed every night um, with a nice note um, of encouragement and congratulating you for all your hard work. I love to be congratulated for my hard work. I love to be noticed for what I do. Um, and as a pastor's wife, a lot of times it's always behind the scenes. It's always, you know, okay, this needs done. I'll just go ahead and do it. And it's fine. But to be recognized for your hard work is seriously an amazing thing. And it's okay. Um, and then the other thing that really surprised me was actually myself. <laughs> I, I am the polar opposite of Emily as far as she's the extrovert, I'm the introvert. Um, and, you know, going there, um, I had made a post yesterday about just how it was okay to be an introvert. And it was okay to not be on the dance floor if I didn't feel the need to be on the dance floor. It was okay to not be taken off to the side for a picture in a moment. And it was okay for me to invite myself to go be involved in a picture in a moment. Um, and so it was just the personal growth that I have experienced just since Ruby Retreat. So um, Ruby Retreat was my first in-person event with the team. And I mean, that was a very hard event for me, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone, getting to meet everybody firsthand. It was really exciting, but stepping out of that introvert comfort zone. And it was like, I looked myself in the mirror that day. I went to convention, looked myself in the mirror that day. And I felt a little more confident taking my team and introducing them to people that I had already met. And then going to um, Mexico was just like another look in the mirror of confidence and really being okay and comfortable with who I was and not feeling like I had to be somebody that I wasn't. And I know that I have a place at the table with our team. Um, and I think what built that for me was being involved in team calls. So Brittany has been doing a Joel intensive with us every day, Monday through Wednesday, and I show up and I'm there to learn and I'm there to grow. And it's like, I looked in the mirror at um, Mexico and was like, who is this person? You know, and it was those relationships, the close relationships that I was building with these ladies in, in the meantime. And so I just want to emphasize this trip is amazing, but it's even more amazing when you are taking the time now to invest in those sideline friendships. Take the time now to grow yourself, to get through the mind trash. Um, like it's hard work and it's not easy, but that's gonna make it 10 times more worth it when you get to Hawaii next year. Um, and then I have to share a funny moment and Brittany's probably gonna kill me, but I just have to say it guys. <laughs> So somebody on our team had a really brilliant idea that we need to all hold hands by the beach and we need to run and frolic into the waves. And so we're all running and my friend is videoing it slow-mo and we all get to the water, we make our halts and somebody unfortunately didn't get halted and she dropped off in the water and she went in. And then it was this slow motion of all of us turning around to look at our fearless leader, Brittany. And she is, I'm falling and it was slow motion. And then she grabs her phone and my phone and she went under and I have to tell you, Terry just was the light, you know, she's the lifeguard. I got to save all the people and she was reaching for her and it was just the funniest moment ever. And Brittany was a trooper. And so I just have to say that was just a really great memorable moment. And it, it did, it brought us all together when you can laugh together and cry together, you know, it's a good trip. So those are my few takeaways. 
Oh my goodness. Thank you, Kayleen. And thank goodness her phone was waterproof. <laughs> All right. So next up we have the sweet Miss Tina. Hey everybody. I am so excited that I get to talk to you guys tonight. Like I just feel so like just grateful that I get to be on this call with the other jewels because it just, I mean, that's one of the things it just it's part of it. It feels so unreal, but it's so powerful and it's so meaningful. Um, so the most meaningful part for me of the trip was experiencing this trip with other people. So I had part of my team there and not only did I have part of my team there, but I had my husband there with me and just watching his face y'all was one of my absolute favorite parts, and I'm going to try not to cry, <laughs> but I mean, never in our entire lives have we ever been pampered like that before. Um, I mean, my husband is a country boy, and he's down to earth, um, and just watching his face as Plexus just spoiled us beyond anything you can ever imagine. I mean, like Kayleen said, room drops every night. I mean, the bottles of shampoo had plexus written on it, like down to the finest detail, they thought of everything. And I mean, they didn't have to do half of what they did, but it just kept coming. And we were like, what in the world? Like, why? Like, I felt like I needed to be thanking them, but instead they were giving us all the presents and $200 uh, Tiffany gift cards on top of this amazing trip. And I mean, they, they could have done half of what they did and it still would have been over the top. And so one of the excursions my husband and I went on was a zip lining adventure. And after one of the zip lines, we had to kayak back and it was so beautiful and quiet and just amazing. And out of the blue, my husband, he was behind me. He said, thank you, baby, for getting us here. And I looked at him because he generally doesn't say things like that. I mean, he's always very supportive, but I mean, when you're in the trenches and, you know, you don't have dinner on the table, for the fifth day in a row or you know the your guest bed has laundry that's piled a mile high I mean it's hard I know it's hard and I think it's safe to say that most of us want the reward without the sacrifice I mean we're all human but the look <laughs> it was funny so I must have looked at him funny because it was either surprise or shock or confusion. I don't know. But he said, he said, you did this. You got us here. And I understand why you sacrificed so much. And y'all, I about died. <laughs> like in the middle of the kayak, in the middle of the, the canal. Like he was so thankful and appreciative. And at that moment, like everything leading up to it felt so worth it. And I know sometimes it doesn't feel like that at the time, but when you get to experience something like this with your husband and he gets to see everything that you've been working hard for, I mean, I don't think he even really expected to fit in well there. Like, I mean, we're, we're homebodies. Um, he's not super gung ho about making friends. I mean, we have plenty of friends, like, so I don't think he really expected or really cared, you know, to make more friends, but he really enjoyed talking to the other husbands there. And he even said one time, he was like, you know, the guys here are actually pretty nice. <laughs> and so, I mean, I really think that this trip is not only important for us and our business and our teams, but it's also really important for our husbands and our families and our kids. This trip was not for me. And I realized that after I got there, this trip was for him and it was for my team and it was for their husbands. And 
I mean, it's so important for them to see that everybody else is so normal and you get to hear everybody else's stories and everybody else has the same pile of laundry in their guest room and everybody else has dishes in their sink. And he got to see that everybody's from all walks of life and everybody is so normal. And he also got to see the reason why, the reason why I choose to make an easy dinner that night so I can be on team call and book study. And he gets to see the end result. And now he can visualize it. Like he knows it will be worth it in the end. And it just gave him so much more vision for the future, not just for these yearly trips, but so much more. And to me, that was the most important thing that we could have taken away from this. So Sorry, I cried. I'm a crier, but <laughs> um, I'm just so, so humbled. So, Thank you, Tina. Thanks for bringing the emotion. We needed that. <laughs> we need all the things, the fun, the emotion. Thank you for sharing your story. All right, next we have the friendly Miss Terry. Hey, y'all. So... However y'all are feeling right now, up and down, crying, laughing, that is how we have been all week long. It has been a roller coaster of emotions, just like Abby said. Um, but this was my very first Plexus event. I have been with Plexus almost two years, but this was my actual in-person first event. And I have so many thoughts and feelings from this trip, y'all. I still cannot wrap my head around it all. Um, and it it probably will be a while before I do, but one thing that surprised me the most was just how real and genuine everyone was. I was really nervous about meeting several of all the famous people of Plexus, um, and I really didn't think that I would actually introduce myself to any of them. I didn't think I would have the nerve to, um, but I was the crazy person that was running up to all the famous people introducing myself. I'm sure they thought I was a lunatic, but they talked to me. They were great. Um, I mean, I met Malika, Melissa Eichenhorst in the bathroom. Not even kidding. She was putting her mascara on right before our first meeting. Um, and I straight, I washed my hands and I straight walked over to, to her and introduced myself in the bathroom. But she was super sweet. Somebody I could definitely see being just, just really good friends with, just completely normal. Um, I met Jim Viev in the food line right when we got there. I was standing by Christina and I peeked over her shoulder and I was like, oh my God, there's Jim Viev. And she said, yeah, that's my friend. You want to wanna meet her? And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah. So she introduced me to her. She is so funny. Um, and I probably gave Brooke Hemingway a heart attack the first, the last night we were there. Um, she and her husband were walking out and we saw them in the lobby and Abby and April and Emily were all there. And I said, oh my gosh, there's Brooke. And they were like, go talk to her. Hurry up, Terry. She's about to leave. And I literally ran out, jumped in front of her and I said, oh my gosh, can we get a picture? <laughs> I mean, it was kind of embarrassing, but the thing was she stopped and talked to us for like 10 minutes. She, I mean, she was super sweet. She was asking us all the questions, connecting. I mean, she didn't even have to do that, but she did. And she was so, so genuine. Um, but it was really great getting to meet all the people that have been following since from the very beginning, Sonia Dudley, Robin Sullivan, and she is just as beautiful in person, um, Lori Welch. And y'all, I'll be honest, like I've thought things like, I'm not them. I'll never be successful like them. I don't have as much influence as them. I don't have the camera presence like them. My Facebook's not as good as theirs. Like all the comparison thoughts that you can think of, I have thought it. Um, but they have, like, I mean, I thought like they had some kind of secret sauce that I didn't and I didn't have a clue how to get it, but I just thought they had something that I didn't have. But what I learned really quick was and you can't tell them I told you this because we're all BFFs now, um, but they're normal, normal human beings. Um, and their secret sauce is just, it's just them being themselves. Um, they were amazed at our team as much as we are amazed with them. Like they were asking us questions. If we got on the golf cart, golf carts took us everywhere. Like you just did that and they appeared. 
Um, but like if they got us on a cart or whatever, they were just constantly asking us questions about our team, like we were famous or something. So they're not just this high and mighty rock stars that climb super fast with no struggles. They were real people who truly cared. Um, they're the same as us. And each of them, they have their own strengths and they have their own weaknesses, just like me and just like you. Um, I mean, none of them are the same. They were all completely different. So for me, I found out that the secret sauce to my success is me and just simply refusing no matter what, just like Emily said, to never, ever give up. Um, I mean, here's the thing. If you want your dreams to happen, you got to have belief in yourself and continue to feed it over and over. And that's what meeting these top leaders did for me. It helped fuel my belief in myself, even though Christina kept telling me over and over how completely normal these people are. It was just a really big eye opener for me. Um, it even fueled my husband's belief uh, in the opportunity and myself. We were sitting there and he had met um, some of the leaders and I'm not gonna say who, but we were just talking about how much they made or whatever. And, you know, Christina said, they, they've only been here five years. They've only been here eight years. And he was like, that person that we just sat and carried on a conversation with for 20 minutes. So I was like, yeah. And he was like, babe, you got this. You can totally do this. I'm like, I, I know. So if they can do it, so can I. So that is what has helped me believe. Um, we definitely don't need another Lori. We don't need another Brittany. We don't need another Melissa. We just need another you. Um, you just have to simply believe that you can do it. Um, and the, that's the thing that they all have in common. They just refuse to give up. What is it that Christina always tells us? That everything is figure outable. So you just got to be willing to stick to it, stick it out and push through all, all the things, all the hard things, good things, all the things. Um, so get yourself to the next in-person event. We have leaders retreat, got convention coming up, Emerald Extravaganza, and Plexus has, has paved the way perfectly for all of us to be able to earn our spots there. And I promise y'all that it will make, I mean, it will impact you and your business so much. So that's all I have to say. Thank you, Terry. That was You're great. Welcome. I'm so glad you're on the trip with us. All right. And last but not least, we have the fiery Miss Michelle. Hey, everybody. Okay. So this was my, I earned the trip last year as an emerald. And so this year I went as as a sapphire. And here's what I want to tell you. Your dreams aren't big enough. Dream bigger. Because my Bible says that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all we can think, ask, or imagine. And I, like Emily, I can imagine a lot. I have really big dreams. I think I kind of scared my husband with some of them, to tell you the truth because we actually had time together, you know, without interruptions. And so I was talking about some of my dreams and his eyes got really big, like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh, don't worry. There's more where this came from. I can imagine a lot. And here's what I take from this trip. It's that as you engage in the process of becoming and growing and doing the things God will do more than you can ever imagine. And it will be better than you can dream of. And it's not like Terry said, to be like Emily or Terry or Michelle, it's to be you. This was my first trip. And you know what I got to do on my first trip? The first jewel trip? I was the only Sapphire to get on stage and speak to the top leaders in the entire company. Now, that's not me. That's God. Because I was just crazy or stupid or dumb enough just to say, yes, God, I'm going for it. And when you go for it, don't worry. If you don't want to be on stage, you won't be on stage but it will be bigger and more exciting and better and more technicolor than you could have dreamed of. And what's even better than that, I got to do it with Christina. I sat next to her with the speakers. She got to introduce me. We were both on stage at a jewel trip together. 
my mouth was dry. I was sweating. I was so nervous. And it was only five minutes, but you wouldn't believe how long we prepared for that five minutes. And in the middle of it, it was like this surreal um, moment where I was speaking and I literally had the thought, I am speaking to this room full of jewels and the top leaders of this company. And at that moment, I thought, thank you, Jesus, because he can do above and beyond greater than you could ever think, hope, dream, and imagine. And then do you know what the rest of that verse says? According to the power that works within you. Denise, Celise, Liz, Lori, Mandy, Amy, the power that works within you. So my best moments, and then seeing my husband, well, I didn't actually see it, but Kaylee took the picture of him videotaping me and how proud he was of me and seeing me shine. And that was only God. Do you know what this trip was about? It wasn't even for us. It was for you. To show you what's possible. That you can shine and dream. And if you're dreaming of a six-figure income, guess what? Too small. Dream bigger. Dream bigger. And if you go after it, guess what? He's faithful to meet you where you are. And even then some, because you cannot outgive God. I look back on that trip and I look back at the blessing that God gave me. And all I can do is say, thank you, Jesus. And then tell other people what's possible because that's what it's all about. If it stops here, I have failed. This trip is about you. You. This is what's possible for you. And in turn, you're telling your people what's possible for them. Because that's what this is about. Truly impacting and offering health and happiness and making dreams. Because our job is not, this. I said this from stage, our job is not to sell supplements. Our job is to help people's dreams be realized. And that is what we get to do. And that was the highlight of my trip. You always bring it, Michelle. Thank you. Well, that was a great way to wrap it up. And you guys, we just want to re recap really quick. So have your pencil ready or computer, because as I wrap this up here, I want you to really grab on to something here and hold on to this because this will help you as you are continuing to grow and develop. So as these amazing women said tonight, you absolutely can do, have, accomplish, and most importantly, become more than you ever thought possible. You are your own secret sauce. Embrace it. Be confident and know who you are. And in return, no matter where you go, you know that you belong. Guys, fear will keep you or try to keep you from experiencing all that God has for you. But you have the choice to overcome it by getting into action, taking a step and getting uncomfortable, my friends. It is 1 billion percent worth it, you guys. Worth the sacrifice, my friends. You never know who is watching your journey or who is inspired by you. Guys, chase your dreams for yourself, but also for those who you may not even know who are watching you and are inspired by you. Everything is figure outable, my friends. Do not quit. And all that you need to be successful is right here and right here. So let's do this, you guys. Cannot wait to see you all in Hawaii with us next year.